Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Python for Beginners. A few videos I have already uploaded in this series where I talked about basics of arrays in NumPy. Today I will be talking about reshape, length and transpose of arrays and those are very much helpful if you are working with numerical methods in for your engineering or science related solutions or mathematics. So let me just start with taking an array say a equal to np dot array so I have already talked about it. Uh, let me quickly make it by taking the option np dot arrange and let me arrange from say 1 to 9. So we only take 9 so it will give you 0 to 9 if I just write a it will be printed you can see 0 to 8 that means 9 elements so we have chosen this now I want to reshape it so there are 9 elements what if I want to make it 3 by 3 matrix so for that what you need to do you need to do np dot reshape not np dot reshape the name of the array so here it is a a dot reshape and then you have to put the dimension say 3 by 3 I want to make so I write 3 by 3 so you can see this is how it is reorganized so how it is reorganized 0 1 2 it is coming in an in a row then 3 4 5 the second row and then 6 7 8 the third row now sometime it is better to put it in another variable so I write b equal to so when I write b equal to I have to write b to get it printed yeah this is done so now this matrix is kept in this variable b suppose again I want to reshape it and I want to go back here so what I can do I can write c equal to say b dot reshape so now I want to reshape 1 comma 9 so this would be the reshape option so how it will be looked let me check see we have went back to the initial line so this array now one thing you have to understand and that is the first one whether it is row or column so this particular array it has you can see nine columns and one row so the first option would obviously be row so I write it here so that you can remember the first index or argument you can say index is number of rows and the second is number of columns so you sh you have to remember it if you don't remember no issues like the way you just check whether it's row or column so if you once you are comfortable with coding then you don't need to remember anything if you forget just go back and try it now what I what if I want to make it vertical so I mean you can actually guess it so what I can do is let me put it in another variable say d instead of 1 9 I will write 9 1 so there will be 9 rows and 1 column if I print it so it will be now vertical you see then from this vertical shape if I want to go back here what we can do is we can do a transpose option so say another variable e np dot transpose this is the syntax np dot transpose we are transposing which vector say d so let me write e otherwise it will not be printed so you can see I have transpo uh, transposed it and I am getting this one. Now let me just show you with 
another vector say again I'm writing a cap say a equal to np dot arrange let me take 15 variables now this is be in small then I write again a okay I did 2R that's why yeah so now we have 15 elements you, now you can reshape it by 3 by 5 or 5 by 3 let me just do it and show you so say another variable say b equal to np not np dot a dot reshape because you are reshaping a a dot reshape 3 by 5 okay and let's c equal to a dot reshape 5 by 3 and let me just print one by one so that we can understand initially let me print b so i have printed b 3 by 5 so you can see three rows i have written somewhere the first index is rows yeah number of rows the first index number of rows so here you can see we have three rows because we have written three in the first index and five columns because we have written three by five c will be exactly opposite you can see yes we have three columns and five rows because five, five is initial index that is number of rows so these things are very important suppose you are working with some matrix and you want to print it in a column in two columns say x and y only in a data file so then what you can do after you are done with your code then you can reshape it to say x and y column so only two columns and then number of rows and then you can print it in a data file so you can have a better visualization or better post processing so as i have mentioned i will be talking about applications of everything I, which i am uh, telling you so one by one once i am done with the basics then we will go for applications so today i stop here these videos will be very short videos so that you can in your leisure time you can just see the videos and learn it